never phase me They watch the steps that I be taking That's why they say that I'm amazing uh, Been the top dog before the nine Since I've always been a public figure Now the frame then got too big Cause most people wanna get up in it Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your host, John Madsen. This is the show. Excited to be here with you for another episode, another chance to hopefully bring value to you and make you think. Today's episode, we're just going to get right into it because this one's important. Today's episode is titled, Make Up Your Damn Mind, Please. Because I believe that when I look around and I see people stuck in different situations, whether it's fitness or business or life or relationships, it's because there's too many fence sitters in this world. There's not enough people who have the confidence to make make up their mind with confidence and finality because I believe that there's nothing more powerful, nothing more powerful than a person who has his mind or her mind completely made up. If you don't believe me, you can ask my five-year-old. Jokingly, if you're a parent, you understand how hard it is when you have a child that's, you know, maybe three or four or five or six, or I don't know, I, I, I mine's, mine's five, right? And so when her mind is made up, it's like incredibly made up. I shared a story the other day where she drug her bike all around the neighborhood because she made her mind that she was not gonna ride it. And she wanted daddy to carry it. Daddy was gonna teach her a lesson. I was not gonna carry her bike for her. And uh, she ended up dragging it, just huffing and puffing and grunting and groaning and tears streaming down on my neighbors looking at me and I'm teaching her this lesson. And all she had to do was ride her bike, but she made up her mind not to. And I shared that story before. I'm gonna share another story though, that illustrates this power and then I'm going to give you a couple things that you can think of that that you can think about to start to see if you've made up your mind or if the reason you're not winning is because you have one foot in one foot out and think about this there's a lot of you in business that have one foot in or one and one foot out there's a lot of you who are considering starting a business you have one foot in one foot out you have one foot in the corporate door and then one foot in to the realm of your dreams and it's like you're back and forth with it and there's so many of you who are one foot in on the fitness program and one foot in the realm where you get to eat pizza and have ice cream, right? And so we have to start to understand that the power of this concept, the power of a made up mind is going to be the thing that ultimately determines if you are going to have the longevity and you're going to have the dedication to the thing that you think you want. So back in 2010, when I decided that I was done playing football, in my heart, I was done playing football. I had just been released by the Cleveland Browns. I played on a upstart league UFL team in Las Vegas. We win the championship, but at that point, the last game, I think, was probably right around Thanksgiving 2009. And then in 2010, I made up my mind that I was going to not play football anymore. And, and clear as day, I'm working out at a 24-hour fitness. And I see I see these kids getting trained by these trainers. These kids were obviously football players at their local high school. And I watched them go through a training program that was a complete waste of time in my mind. I knew like I knew what those kids needed because I went through that process myself and I had this like I had this knowing that I was meant to go back to Salt Lake City, open up a performance gym and that was going to be the next chapter of my life. And so I have this I have this moment in this uh, 24-hour fitness and I stay up all night writing up a business plan. Do, like I, I had no idea how to do a business plan, but I, I looked up business plan, Googled it, and then I was like, I'm gonna create this business plan. This is what I'm gonna do. I couldn't even sleep for the next couple of days because I was so freaking excited. I don't know if any of you of watching this right now are have ever had a moment like that where you're so excited about something that just like, you know you have to do. But in that moment, I made up my mind, okay? In that moment, the mind was made up. Fast forward a couple months, I moved back to Salt Lake City. I'm actively looking at different buildings to create that first gym. I find a building, have to sign a five-year lease, have to get all the different legal structures in place that I knew nothing about, by the way, and ultimately sign this five-year lease, order about $100,000 worth of equipment. I glued about 30,000 of that down in the form of field turf with 
like glue that that made it almost impossible to tear up when I almost bankrupted that place 16 months later. Different different story though. I signed a lease, bought the equipment, and then my phone rings from my agent saying that the Detroit Lions want to fly me out for a workout. Now some of you have heard this part of a story, but this is different context. So my mind was made up that I was done playing football, but then here was a phone call that was an invitation back to my childhood dream, which was back into the NFL after three years of playing with the Oakland Raiders and a, a little slice in Cleveland with the Browns. And so I don't want to go because in my mind, the next part of my life was happening. Agent calls and and he's pleading with me, just go, John, don't burn any bridges. Just see if, you know, you, you wear a helmet again, maybe, maybe you'll change your mind right? See, maybe you'll change your mind. Sometimes people want you to change your mind because they think it's best for you, right? But in my heart, I already had the download and the knowing that that was not going to be the direction of my life. So sometimes you're not strong enough in the beginning to know that. So I get on a plane, I fly out to Detroit, I go through this little workout, and they ultimately want to sign me for the rest of the summer and training camp to see if I'll make that squad or if not that squad, I could have had a great preseason and landed with another squad. And so I go to through this tryout. And ultimately, long story short, I march up to the office with the GM and I thank them for the opportunity, but I officially handed in my resignation and retired, right? Retired so that I could go back to Salt Lake City and fulfill what was on my heart then, which was opening up in-person performance gym, and that was 2010. And so the couple things that I want to have you extract from this story is the power of my mind. The, the track that it was on was to do what I ultimately wanted to do in that time frame, which was put football aside. That dream was done. Let's go start to live the second part of my life. And at that point, I had no idea how it was going to turn out. I had no idea that I'd be sitting in this seat, what is it, 13 years later with this online business that has grown all over the United States. I didn't know any of that then. I just got the first direction, which was go back and open up this gym in Salt Lake City. And so I did that. So so now I wanna give you three different bullet points, three different, if, if you're like gonna write stuff down and you're gonna put this in your phone notes, like these are three things that are gonna help you decide or determine if you need to make up your mind or if you've been on the fence about something or if you are in the power position and you've actually made up your mind. The first one is this, when you make up your mind, you'll be tested to see if you really have made up your mind. Notice how I said when I made up my mind, I moved. I had a house here in Arizona. I hardly lived in it. It was uh, 2000, again, 2009 or 10 ish. I made up my mind to move from Arizona back to Salt Lake City to open up this gym. The test came from the call from the Detroit Lions that was testing to see if my mind was really made up. And if you want to get spiritual about it, I now believe that that was a, a direct command from God, my creator, telling me what the next step was, right? But in a lot of different ways, I believe that we all make these decisions sometimes. We all have this knowing of what we want to do. And even if we start to move in that direction, like I did signing the lease and then ultimately doing all the legal structures, opening up the bank accounts, dumping 100K into doing the thing, there's always a test. There's always a test that's going to come and test to just see if you want to go back out that back door and go back to the old way. And this is where I think that some of the some of the most powerful moments of your life is going to be determined in what you do next. Are you going to go back out the back door into the life that was comfortable? Maybe it was a great life like mine in the NFL. That was a dream come true. But am I going to go back out the back door and back into something that I was done with, that I knew in my heart that I was done with? Or am I going to proceed with the power of a new made up mind that's taking me in a different direction? So for you, I don't know what that is. For you, maybe there's a decision that you're trying to weigh your options or there's something that you think you're going for. But if you were really to look at yourself in the mirror and you were really to tell the truth, maybe it's possible that you now realize that you have one foot out and one foot in. See, you're not gonna win if you have one foot out and one foot in. You're only gonna win if you have both feet in the place that you ultimately wanna go, which is completely aligned inside. So most people, like a part of them wanna do something, but another part of them wanna do something else. There's no alignment there. One foot in, one foot out. Number two, when you make up your mind, you give up all excuses, justification, and alternatives, you burn the boats. Let me just say this again, because it's very, very, very important. When you make up your 
mind. Here is like, this is how you know if you made up your mind. You've given up all excuses, justifications, and alternatives. There is no more excuses. There's no yeah, but there's no justifications, right? If this is fitness, it's like you join a fitness program and you decide that you're gonna be elite, yet at the end of the week, you go off plan because you're, and, and so here's the justification because maybe you had a tough week, right? And you're exhausted, you're tired, and, and you deserve just to have a night out or the bottle of wine. And I'm not saying you can't ever have that stuff, but too many people, right? Too many people have these justifications to themselves that ultimately keep them from ever going the distance in what they say they want. And so a person with a mind that hasn't been made up is a person that has tons of justification to themselves, justification to others, and ultimately have not let go of all of the excuses and reasons why they can not. I was just talking to one of my one-on-one -on -one clients and uh, I, I don't have a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients because I, I don't have tons of time to do that. Right. And the, and the price for one on one coaching for me is, you know, six figures. So uh, I was talking to one of my one on one clients and he was telling me that he was actually thanking me that one of the biggest differences he's made was giving up alcohol instead of like. And it wasn't like he was a big drinker before, but he was a social drinker and he would enjoy some cocktails and he has a life where he's entertaining people. Right. And, and that's part of the job. And so he said, the one thing that I noticed more than any other thing is like giving up that alcohol has made so much difference in my life. And I want to thank you for it because it started out as, hey, I don't have, I don't want to waste calories. I don't want to waste those calories on alcohol because I have these fitness goals. I have this physique goal. And the last thing I want to do is have a couple glasses of wine and then I'm hungry because I just wasted calories. And so he stops, right? But then his mind, like, it's not like sometimes this or that, his mind goes to, I don't really need it anymore. And so he tells me on this call, Call that when he goes out with clients, he calls the restaurant ahead of time and he says, Hey, he described himself. I'm this guy. I'm going to be, you know, this is what I look like. The people around me when they're ordering cocktails, he's like, I just want what like a, a non cocktail, non alcoholic drink, whatever he drinks, right? Would be like for me, it'd be like sparkling water, but he's like, whatever, whatever it is, maybe it's like, maybe it's just a Diet Coke, right? But he's like, he wants it on a, in a cocktail glass. And when he orders something, he's like, I'll order it like I'm drinking, but I'm, there's no alcohol in it. He tells a restaurant ahead of time, right? And so it's not this big thing. It's not like, and for him, that's a life hack because it's like, he doesn't have to explain like, oh, I'm not drinking anymore. Eventually, like he could and he does, but he's like, it's just easier when I go out. It's like, it's already set in motion. And so just understand that a person with a made up mind in a certain way is like, I just don't do certain things like I used to do. And so whether that's not drinking alcohol or it's making a big life decision where you're thinking about, you know, doing something and, and considering if you really want to do that thing, whether it's big or small, a person with a made up mind has a power to then continue on the path that they ultimately want to go on. And so number three, when you make up your mind, you don't need to know how. I can't stress this enough. When you make up your mind, you don't need to know how. You just need to know why, okay? When I made up my mind and I can think about multiple times that I've been in situations like this, when I've decided to do whatever I was going to do next. I didn't know ultimately all the steps. And so, like I said, when I, when I got the directive to go back to Salt Lake city and open up a gym, I didn't quite know that 13 years later, I have this podcast clients all over the United States. We have one of the fastest growing fitness companies in the United States. I have no idea any of that. All I knew that I, that like, that's where I was going to go. And then as I took my foot off the brake, what happened? I got the next steps revealed to me. And so, so many people they're they're sitting there and they're, they have their dreams in the future, right? They have their dreams. They're, they're, it's like, it's like you're in a car and you, you, you can drive towards your dreams. There's a road straight towards like what you say you want, but too many people they don't because they can't see the whole way, right? There's twists and their turns, there's ups and downs. They can't see the full, like the full destination. They never take their car out of park. It's like they don't know step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, so on and so forth. They don't know how to get, get from point A to point Z, right? And so their foot is on the brake and they never take it off. When you make up your mind, you need to understand that you don't need to know how it's all going to work out. You just need to know why. You need to know why you want it, right? And if you know why and you take your foot off, 
break and you just move, the next steps will reveal themselves. But those next steps are going to stay a secret to the person who has the foot on the brake and never takes it off. So three really, really, really important points right there that I want you to not forget. When you make up your mind, you're going to be tested to see if you really want it. Number two, when you make up your mind, you have to give up all your excuses, all your justifications, and all the alternatives. You have to burn the ships. And then number three, when you make up your mind, you have to understand that you don't ultimately need to know how, you just need to know why. I hope this episode helps. I hope that it brings up something for you. If it does, drop me a message on social. Would love to hear it. But once again, whether it is your life, your relationships, or a lot of the work that we do obviously is in the fitness world. If it is in the fitness game, you're never going to win if you have one foot in and one foot out. You're never going to win if you if you want a six pack, but you can't give up the things that are keeping you from achieving it, right? And so if you're stuck somewhere in the middle, like really, really, really consider whether or not you've truly made up your mind or if you think you've made up your mind, but your actions and behavior tell another story. We'll see y'all next week.